never a bad time to come see the lake. Crunching ice and freezing temperatures, but it didn't stop people from heading towards the shoreline Tuesday. We wanted to see the low water levels because it doesn't happen that often, you know, maybe once every year or two. Strong wind gusts from a low pressure system pushed water out of Lake Erie's western basin Monday, exposing areas of lake bed that are usually underwater. It's strange. It's really strange to see how low the water level is. According to our WTOL 11 weather team, the phenomenon is called a seiche. When strong winds and rapid pressure changes push water from one end of a lake to the other. By Tuesday, the water had already begun moving back, but visitors still came to see what was left behind. Some people were even brave enough to walk out on the ice, trying to get as close as possible to the water. I'm still trying to be safe about it, but I don't plan to search for anything. But if something pops up and I find it, that'll be cool. <laughs> Others say they came out after seeing people's luck on the internet of finding things with the water being so low. Those photos from yesterday were pretty, pretty rad. Uh, seeing frames of cars and snowmobiles and, and what appeared to be even like wooden ships. Uh, so we were hopeful.